So guys, Big Brother Niger season five is here. What's up everyone? My name is Olufemi Daniel and of course I want to welcome you back to my channel. Of course, if you're just viewing me for the first time, please click the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell and guess what guys, we're about to have a fantastic journey. So guys, Big Brother Niger season five is here and guess what? I am excited, but first off, they started on a very bad note. There was no connection, there was a technical fault for about nine minutes. It's like the first time they had a whole year to prepare and guess what, on the very first day, for the first nine minutes, we experienced technical problems. I'm wondering how that happened, but of course, it was eventually resolved and yes, yeah, so we found our favorite host, Ebuka, right on our screens, welcoming us to the season five. And in quick successions, he eventually unveiled the sponsors, telling us the Betway was the major sponsor, um, Guinness was the gold sponsor, and of course, a whole lot of other sponsors. And after that, it was time to unveil the housemates. So for those of you who actually want to get updated on Big Brother and Angel journey from day one to day seven to one, I am gonna be here giving you all the gist, all the juicy gist happening in the house. Like today, right now, I've got a whole lot of gist for you. So first off, let me first take you through the whole information you need about Big Brother Ninja season five. So it's a 10 week show. And of course, all the housemates were camped for two weeks before the show where they were tested for COVID-19. They were actually tested three times to be sure that each of them were free from the, you know, the dreaded coronavirus. So um, after that, yes, the whole housemates were in isolation. And of course this year we have 85 millionaire up for grabs. One person is gonna go home with Prizes were 85 million naira, so that's that's fantastic. I think it's a very good one. And yes, while the show was on, Ibuka took us to the house where he showed us everything. You know what I'm excited about this year? The fact that the house is on lockdown. And of course, there are a lot of new changes brought into the house, like the Babin Salon, the Salon itself, Unisex Salon. Of course, the head of house apartment is now fantastic. It's got a TV, it's got a lounge, trust me guys. And now we now have a deputy head of house. I want to see how that is going to play out because we, we're used to the whole head of house, one person being in charge of the whole contestants. But this year we have a deputy head of house. So I want to see how that is going to really play out this year. One of the things that the Big Brother and I just did this year that is exciting is the fact that we have a disinfecting tunnel. So this is just to make sure that all the housemates are thoroughly and properly sanitized, if that's the right word, you know before they get into the house. So because in the house, they're not gonna wear their mask and of course, they're gonna to touch each other, probably kiss. I'm gonna to come to that. There's a gist coming up in that right now. And guess what guys, it's it's a fantastic, you know, the whole procedure, so they, they were actually COVID-19 compliant, fully compliant with the NCDC rules and it was a good one. Now I'm straight to the housemates. We have 20 contestants this year for the Big Brother Niger season five and I'm just gonna run through their names. I'm sure if you've been on Twitter and Instagram, a whole lot of things have happened just in the, in the last in the last few hours that the show was launched. So um, we have also the fine boy, we have Victoria known as V, we have Prince, we have Lilo, we have Trickety, we have Lucy, we have Kidwire, Dorothy, the Explorer. Of course, we have Praise, Wathoni, Tochi, Katrina, Eric, Erika, Raito, Keisha, Neil, Lakon, and Nengi. And now, finally, after Ebuka was done with the whole introduction, the house was shut. It's Big Brother Ninja locked down. And so it was a good time for all the housemates. Immediately they came into the house one after the other, you know, there were, there were no holds back. Everybody just started engaging, greeting each other. People probably saw themselves at the auditions were already gisting about how it went for them, how Praise said he went to Abuja and they called him the night and from Abuja, he came back the following day to Lagos and all of that. And yes, it was time for them to eat. Kudos to Big Brother, he prepared food for them. I mean, there was food on the table for all of them to just eat, you understand, after the whole the unveil and all of them, I'm sure some of them were famished. So, Big Brother gave them food to eat and they all had fun. Right, the one of the people that stood out for me was Neil, the guy can talk and tricky tea. Fine! These guys can gist for Africa. I, I'm not seeing a lady that can talk like them, really. And guess what, guys? It was a fantastic time. So, Biggie, for the first time, I do not like that Biggie's voice. I'm sure it has been changed right now, but that Biggie's voice came like, this is Big Brother. I mean, it was totally different from the Biggie's voice that we're used to but as of now when i listen to it the voice had changed it was like the big brother voice that we are all used to so big brother told them to just go around the house five minutes check out the lounge check out the head of house room check out all the ones to check out in five minutes and then they were back to the table where biggie addressed them and told them exactly what the house was all about if you don't want to be in the house just put your up for eviction the first eviction you're going home and then the first fight almost happened what was going to cost the fight bed space. It was going to be between Prince 
and Katrina. So I think Prince came into the house before Katrina was called up to stage and of course has to go into the house for Katrina. So when he got to the house, he had picked his bed space in one corner. And I think unknown to Katrina, she also picked that bed space and boom, Prince was just trying to, you know, put his bags on all that and Katrina came and said, no, 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 you're gonna put your bag on that bed. And he also almost became a fight. I like the fact that Prince handled the matter in a mature way and guess what, Katrina also came to apologize to him and all of that. And the first fight almost happened, but I'm glad it never happened because it was just too early for a fight to happen. And yes, we're gonna go into the ships. So I began to observe that Eric and Erika, both of them began, you know, getting close and it was beginning to look like these two might actually become a couple. Yes, they're named Erica and Erica. So I'll just probably call them the Ericas. But guess what's happening right now? I can spot Lilo, the girl from Ocean State, coming close to Eric and it's beginning to look like these two are going to become love birds. But let's wait and see what the house holds. And uh, as an after the night, they all had games, concert, concert. It was a fantastic time for them to just bond, get to know each other. Of course, Dorothy was like the umpire who directed all of that. And of course, she handed over to Neo, the worried guy who's always shouting and telling us how he has sold Indomie before. And now these other guys who has told her that he was an Uber driver. But all of that, all of them are in the house. Some of them are still surprised that they're actually in that house for the show. Another person that Loki stood out for me was Lacon. Lacon is this Nigerian artist, you know, he's, he's been like, you know, trying to get his music out there and boom, he finds himself in the house and later at night, right where they were trying to sleep, you know, he just give them some bars and guess what guys, that guy is super talented. I think that guy is like the representative of the Malians in the house. So guys, watch out for Lacon. And I think that as the house unfolds, gradually, gradually, we're gonna to get to see what Ozo, the cool, quiet guy, is up to. And of course, a whole lot of other people. So for me, I don't think that the contestants were properly picked from the six geopolitical zones of Nigeria because looking at it right now, I think we just have two Yoruba people. We have a lot of people from the South, South from, from, from the Southeast, but we don't have too many people from the Southwest. We have just one person from the North. You get my point? So I don't know how that played out, but of course I'm sure they actually knew what they were doing when they were picking the contestants. And after that, all of them went to bed and boom, the morning came and it was time for them to, you know, to exercise and to do the choreography. And guess what? Praise was there. The belly dancer, the whole exotic uh, stripper. It was there to just give the girls some moves and all of that. And it was a fantastic time. Big Brother didn't give them the music they wanted. They wanted nobody but Fireball for them to rehearse the choreography, but it didn't happen. So... And that was it, and Big Brother just told them, this is Big Brother. Housemates, leave the lounge and go back to blah, blah, blah. And it was time for all of them to have their bats. And guess what, we were waiting for the head of house game, the very first head of house game for the Big Brother Niger 2020. So what I'm waiting for in this show is right now, I wanna see the ships that would form. I'm beginning to see, I'm gonna suspect there might be a fight between Lilo and Erika, but it's not looking like Erika is trying to hustle for a man. She's just been chilled. And I'm looking at Erika also trying to just come close to Ozo. Ozo's like the five boy in the house right now, but of course, Eric is the tall 6'5 guy with a whole chisel chest and pack. And guess what, guys? The girls are drooling for him. One other person I think I like is Lucy. Very mature girl. Cam, she knows what she wants, and of course, she's going to go for it. So, guys, that has been it. It's been a few hours into the house, and guess what? I am bringing you all the gist you need to hear. So, um, until next time, please subscribe again, like I said. Click on the notification bell, and guess what? We're going to have this next 10 weeks. It's going to be a fantastic time. I'm going to bring you all the gist from Big Brother Niger. 2020. My name is Olufemi Daniel. You can go on all my social media platforms on Instagram, on Facebook, and on Twitter. I am at the Femi Daniel. And of course, on my YouTube page, please share and ask a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to please subscribe. And until next time, that's bye for now. See ya.